This is the long length version. Um, yeah, so all this week I'll put in little snippets of my day. Probably not at work, um, just because. Um, today I'm wearing my oh, Alex dress, I think. And that was a Masha style and solo, so la la collab pattern and I absolutely love it um, so I need to make the corduroy version that I made started ages ago but never finished it because I noticed that the nap on the back was different to the nap on the front so yeah and it looked like it was a different shade altogether from the sides so that was a no no so I had to I need to fix that um, so I would like to do that and I would like to do another sort of similar sort of viscose one got plenty of fabric so I should just get on with it really so yeah as I said I'm gonna crack on with the long marrow um, just because it's winter and um, it's this one the oatmeal pink one I think I'm going to put pigeon wishes chai buttons in chai buttons because I've got at least enough for that so that would be four buttons for the long version and it's three buttons about two two and a half centimeters um button size for the marrow so yes um so yeah you'll see in a minute how far I get So that was getting the collar, the neckband on, which goes all the way down to the hem point. So the hem is done as well. So yes, so I need to do the cuffs. Let's see how far I can get before I'm called for dinner. Mm -hmm. Degrees and sunny, just the way I always wanted. Tall but I got the upside. Today's Tuesday, I've been to work, came home, as you can hear, washing machine on, the usuals, just made, well, just prepped apple timber, can you see, right there, woohoo, and made a mess, yeah, yeah, it's difficult isn't it, <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that in the oven for 25 minutes at 180. Yeah, just a simple apple crumble with a wee bit of rolled, apple, rolled oats on top with the same amount of sugar. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And I think we've got some vegan cream fresh. <laughs> um, so we'll have that for pudding tonight. Yeah, maybe get some stone as well. Other half is cooking. So I've done the washing in order. The and the dishes. Right. So, yeah. hey. so, still Tuesday night. 
finished my lower last night, but when I put it on, I noticed that the sleeve wasn't quite right. Now, this is probably just being me being really pernickety, but you can see it, and it's just pretty obvious. So, like a magazine. You mark the page, but then you can't find the page. I, you know what I mean? So, yes. Um, yes. Oh. So, it kind of just got a wee fold. It's a cute look, but the other one doesn't look the same, so we're going to change it. Okay? Jackson cut out for a wee while. Yeah, it's been a longer than a wee while, Emma. Um, almost a year probably. <laughs> so I'm gonna start putting this together. I might have to change my thread on the sewing machine. Um, I'll find some, maybe the same color. Um, I think I've done the. Oh, sorry. I think I've done the hoodie extension from the Jackson pullover. Um, so I'm not quite sure if I want to do it though. On this anymore. I'd rather have the contrast and headband and um, what you call it? Otherwise, I could get some petrol extra petrol because I've got petrol came in it and this might actually work although a black contrast and <clears throat> night band might actually be quite cool and I don't mind contrast and night bands or cuffs or hand bands I think it looks quite cool some people don't like it and that's fine I like it and that's fine so, yeah, just gonna pop pins in this so I can at least get it pinned. I'm just trying to sew for half an hour every evening, if not longer, but we'll see. See how the week pans out. So far this week has been quite good. Yeah. So, apple crumble was baked. Um, I'll get your picture before I serve it. <coughs> I'm quite fortunate because my boss, I think my boss's neighbour, had loads of apples. Um, so she gave loads to work. She brought in like loads. So we had like, we've had a few apple crumbles in the kitchen at work so it's been quite nice and then I've brought some home because the vast majority of those apples I mean there was a lot so I thought right I'll take some home and I'll make some apple crumble and I have and I've made it vegan because husband's vegan so we use stork which is a margarine um, and on the side, we're going to put some creme fraiche. I'm going to have honey with mine. And it's free, vegan creme fraiche. I'll show you the picture. Um, what it looks like. I think it's oatly. You do it. Um, so, I'm going to try it and see how it works. But I'm going to have honey. So I have under honey that I picked up from Riddles. Portuguese lavender honey. Turns out pretty beautiful. Um, and then 
ham and might have some maple syrup because that, that's vegan and he isn't so just in case you don't know giving you fun facts about veganism January will be upon us and there'll be lots more on the shelves again Mama seems to have that effect like this vegan all over the place in January I know it's ve veganary or something like that um, and um, as soon as we hit March all those options slowly disappear which is rather annoying because there's a good few options fresh options in Aldi and they were quite nice and then they disappear yeah and this is the weird angle you're not used to this are you but hey -ho. right okay so shoulder the pin and I picked up a brilliant technique from Tamron so you know how you quarter head um your neck band well seemingly not all shoulders are quarter marks so yeah I would go and watch a video I'll link it in the box below um description box below so you can go and view it after mine um she does a lot of good hints and tips but that one I didn't know I didn't realize the horror <laughs> so maybe my after doing this properly all my neck bands will look um thanks to Tamil thank you Tamil so we fixed it <laughs> there we go no fold so readable I'm not actually put buttons on it I feel like I should but I'm gonna just leave it at the moment and see how I wear it. Yeah. I'm all over the right one. Controversial. Mm. There's probably going to be people who say, put the buttons on, Emma. But I'll wait for that to happen and I'll do it for you. <laughs> probably in a couple of weeks. <laughs> or next year. Yeah. dresses was originally available with collect patterns you'll be lucky if you get a paper pattern these days um i kind of put just stopping them a couple of years ago if not more and then it was available on the same work in your library and you could download it which i've done but if you haven't already done that like a year and maybe two years ago then unfortunately it's not going to be available but I love this jersey pattern it's a jersey dress and there's a few hacks that go with it um yeah and I particularly like the low scoop back hack now 
can't remember off the top of my head because it's been a while since I made one of these Moneta dresses. But, um, yeah, it's... I wouldn't say it's completely size inclusive, but the way I cut it, it's kind of almost like Empire Line, just below Empire Line. Um, yeah, it's super comfy. Um, and it's because it's got the gather skirt, kind of hides a lot. But yeah, the Moneta dress pro was definitely loved by the sewing community, if not still is, but it's probably forgotten because there's a lot of patterns out there. If you like the look of the Moneta dress by Colette Patterns, then, and you can't get a hold of it, then I would try um, Styler Patterns, which is also Little Lizard King. I'll put the link in the box below. And it's the Agagalina dress, if I remember correctly. The link will be in the box below, so if I've said that right, it will be the correct link. And I think if you go onto the Facebook page of Styler Patterns, you'll be able to get a link to get it for free. See, there's a wee surprise there for you. So, yeah. Um. So tonight I'm just going to keep carrying on doing this Jackson pullover. I'm sure I cut out um, cuffs and a hemband in black, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Maybe that was for another pattern. Do I have black ribbing? If not, I'm going to have to go and get some. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to as much as I can, I've got an arm to attach and then I could do the hood um, in the time that I've got. Um, i trying to do little snippets this week and then I'm going to try and cut out a pattern test. Um, or I'll get that all uh, ready to go because I'm just waiting on the fabric. And I'm really apprehensive because it's got like poppers, like yeah. There's steel poppers that I need to get as well. So I think I'm going to go into town on Saturday once I've got the dog to go and get the poppers. <laughs> so we kind of skipped today. Um, cause on Thursdays I go down to my aunt's. So I did. And then by the time I got back I was stuffed. I was full. What did we have? We got fish and chips and scampi. So we just shared at That's dog. <laughs> we just shared um, a small fish supper and some scampi and oh my god. So filling. <laughs> and then we had cheesecake. Biscoff cheesecake. Good. So, but I just came back and I was absolutely. There's no way of moving up those uh, ladders to the attic. <laughs> um. So, and I haven't really sewn today either. So today I've baked the cake. I'll put a picture on here. <laughs> um. When I got home, I put the laundry on, which you probably just heard the last spin. Um, I'm going to cook my dinner now, which I got steak. Yeah, Palo's not in, so I'm going to get my iron pumped with steak. Um, and then it's got a wee beauty sauce, which is there. So I'm going to have one steak and sweet potato, sweet potato fries, which I've started in the oven, I'll just pour you a bit. It's in the oven. If that was a good show, if it wasn't, I will put a picture in. Okay, um, that was just the washing machine going off, so I need to hang up the washing. 
I'm watching the dog because that's my steak and dogs don't know their limits, their um, line. Yes, she stole a raw pizza many years ago off the bunker, ate half of it and then I had to go and get a new pizza for myself that night. I wasn't impressed. She was though. I think she enjoyed it. <coughs> she says, I can't remember. But yes, so I'm going to cook my steak on the hob. Sweet potatoes shouldn't be taking too long. They're like nice and soft now. So hopefully they'll go crispy a wee bit. I like them crispy. Um, Just a wee bit. I've got red wine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be doing a bit of sewing over the weekend. Because I've got a few things to finish off before I head down to London on Wednesday. I am hoping to go to Liberty of London, specifically the fabric department, because any time I've been down, I've not managed to get to there. Also, I believe the new craft house is about 15 minutes away from where we are. Walk. So, I'll probably walk while husband is doing the cake. One, it'll get me out of his way. Two, it'll get me some fresh air, fresh London air. And um, three, I'll fabric shopping. <laughs> Shouldn't really. But if I buy something, I could always post it back home so I don't get into trouble. Mm. I'll post it to my dad and I'll pick it up eventually. So, hi. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there we go. Done. Um, okay. I'm going to sign out. I'll show you my dinner. Yeah. Um, and I'll, like, Saturday and Sunday, and then Sunday I'll, I'll get it all edited, this video. And then sign up for Monday. So, there's a vlog on Monday. So hopefully you've enjoyed this week so far. Sorry I went, if I went a wee bit well on Thursday. <laughs> um, but Friday I'm back. But no sewing. So this is kind of a wee bit, uh, in general, what happens in my evenings. Um, I wish I did this in summer because then we would have, we would have had a, maybe a longer day. Because it wouldn't have got so dark. <coughs> Yeah, but hey ho, maybe I can do this maybe once a month or so and see how you like it. I've got lots of ideas from both Instagram and YouTube community tab. I want to ask what would you like content wise? There was a lot of, let's see your stash. Um, and... There was a lot of the sewing room tour. I have done a sewing room tour. I have done a sewing room tour. I'm trying to do two things at once. It's obviously not working. I have done a sewing room tour when I first started the channel. So, yeah. So I thought of going through my fabrics and going going through like my stash and sort of giving you ideas of what I'm thinking of doing with it. I mean most of my fabrics I have ideas for unless I've fallen out of love with them. Um, most of my fabrics now I kind of I'm still in love with them and it'll be hard to maybe let go if I need to really de-stash which I do but it's getting to that point I'm like don't know if I want to <laughs> It's awful. It's awful. Um, yeah. So, I I am looking forward to that one. I always enjoy looking up, like, new patterns and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go for the cosy option. Um, favourite cosy patterns. Um, autumn trends, if I can get my butt into gear. Maybe I could do that maybe in London. Get things organised. 
and maybe do a couple of vlogs down there because it will quite be quite good in the apartment that we've got maybe a nice backdrop so I'll have to remember it and take my microphone and connector and the USB cable to charge that just in case it needs any charging but yeah quite happy so I'm gonna leave you no not much soon but Saturday it'll be I'm not even gonna yeah we'll leave it we'll leave it a surprise I'll see you Saturday. Good night. Hey, it's Saturday. Um, just walking the dog. You might notice that there's been a little bit of activity, activity this morning. Um, because me and butter came and ate the cake. When you butter came. You meant to use butter, but my brain was not on fire, so I had to because um, I used stock and the starch just too soft. Brilliant for cakes, but not for buttercream. But check this colour of the beach tree out. Absolutely stunning! Beautiful. Lovely beach tree. Every time, at this time of year, glorious orange, copper tone. Beautiful. And Fifi loves it because I'm relieved. Not an idea. So, yeah, we made butter cream. We made the butter cream using butter. And, um, just holding it hostage in the fridge so it sets quick so I can add the fondant ice in. So hopefully this afternoon I can add the fondant ice. I'll colour that. I think either I'm going to go for pink or purple. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. Nice and quiet for the walk too. So, um, other stuff is happening, but I'll show you when it does. Don't ruin the surprise. Oh, just look. <sighs> look at me bit pale and valley today. I don't know if it's like the contrast. Mm. No idea. But here we are, having a wee walk. And I'll see you in a wee bit.
degrees and sunny Just the way I always wanted